So we're given here that if t is greater than 0 and t squared minus 4 equals 0, we want to know what's the value of t. So I think this is definitely, um, especially compared to the previous problem, hopefully not too terrible at all. So basically, we just need to solve for t. That's the whole thing. So two ways to do this. You could either factor the left side. This is a difference of perfect squares. t plus 2 multiplied by t minus 2 equals 0. If I set each factor equal to 0 and solve, I'll get my two values. OK, so I'll take t plus 2, set it equal to 0. Well, I can subtract 2 from both sides and get t equals negative 2 as one solution. t minus 2 equals 0. We can add 2 to both sides and get t equals positive 2. Well, again, they're telling me that t has to be greater than or equal to 0. So I know that t equals positive 2 is the answer to this problem. The other way that you could solve this equation, since uh, there's, no, there's no term involving t only, we could take t squared minus 4 equals 0. We could add 4 to both sides. We can take the square root of both sides, remembering to include a, a plus and minus on one side. So on the left side here, we're left with t. Well, we've got our plus minus square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. Again, we have to keep the positive solution. So we know that t equals positive 2 would be the correct answer.